Good morning, Paula, Craft and Real Women of Philadelphia. I'm Mimi Nall, and it's Friday morning here in Philadelphia. I have some company visiting for the next few days, so I thought I'd whip up a breakfast casserole, and once again, Philadelphia Cooking Cream has come to my rescue to make my life simple and delicious. I have made this casserole many times over. It consists of potatoes, sausage, and a cream sauce, and cheese. So what I thought I'd do is substitute the cream sauce with the original Philadelphia cooking cream. And talk about making my life easier and delicious, this is the product that will do it. So let's get started. What you'll need is a pound of sausage. Now, I'm using maple sausage. I have used sweet Italian sausage. I've used turkey sausage. You can use whatever type you'd like. Use a pound of it. Also, you'll need about a pound of either frozen or refrigerated shredded potatoes. I am using refrigerated. It cuts down on the cook time. And I also use two to three green onions and some cheddar cheese, some shredded cheddar. Again, use whatever type of cheese you'd like. Go ahead and set your oven at 350 degrees and butter a 8 by 8 casserole dish, which I've already done. Get out a skillet, put your burner on about medium heat, and take your pound of sausage out of the casing. So after taking the sausage out of the casings and putting them into the skillet to brown, go ahead and just break up the sausage into small bits. And you can do that with the back of your spoon. And go ahead, oh it smells so good, I can smell the maple in here already. And go ahead and just brown that. Cook it until it's all browned up and it's, it's basically a crumbled sausage. And the smell is just outstanding. I think this is going to wake everyone up. While that's browning, go ahead and finely dice some green onions. You will use these as one of the layers in this casserole. Okay, so we have the green onions sliced and ready to go. And the sausage is looking great. And it's caramelizing on the bottom because of the maple syrup within this sausage. And it just looks incredible. So here is where the easy step comes in. Adding Philadelphia cooking cream. So I'm adding the original. You can also add the Santa Fe blend if you'd like a little spice in your breakfast casserole. So it's really up to you. I'm going with the original. And so I'm stirring it in there and letting it melt down a little bit to form a creamy, cheesy sausage gravy, basically. And, oh, wow. I'm going to turn this back up to medium. Oh, this looks good. This looks so, so good. And I used to um, make a gravy with some flour and milk and stir it and watch it and make sure that it didn't burn. And it just took a while. Whereas this is coming together so quickly, it looks great. I don't know if you can see this. Let me tilt this up a little bit. So it looks wonderful. Really, really good. So I'm scraping up all the caramelized bits down on the bottom, so this is going to just have fabulous flavor. Okay, so now take your casserole dish and we will add the shredded potatoes. So after layering the potatoes in your buttered casserole dish, I like to salt and pepper the potatoes just to make sure that they're well seasoned. Go ahead and just add to your liking salt and pepper. And then after that, we will layer in some of the green onions. So go ahead, and again, this is to taste. Depending on if you like a lot of onion or not, just go ahead and add what you'd like. Okay? And then layer in 
about, I like to use about a cup to a cup and a half of shredded cheddar cheese. So go ahead and add a nice layer of cheese on top of that. So layer that on. So it's looking like this. Now you can layer on the creamy maple sausage made with Philadelphia cooking cream. And oh my goodness, it looks so yummy. Oh, you know, I make this casserole dish quite often, and every time I make it, people want the recipe. And so now I'll be happy to give them the recipe and make it easier for them and say, buy yourself a tub of Philadelphia cooking cream. It will cut down on time, and I'm sure it's going to be delicious. Okay, make sure you get every bit of that cream. Yum! On top of the sausage, you can add the remaining cheese. If you're using refrigerated potatoes, put it in the oven at 350 for about 25 to 30 minutes. If you're using frozen potatoes, go ahead and pop it in the oven for 40 to 45 minutes. So I'm going to pop it in and I can't wait to take it out, serve it with a fried egg on top. Yum! Casserole is out of the oven and my kitchen smells delightful. The cheese is melted on top, the Philadelphia cooking cream is melted down within the potatoes and the sausage. So I'm making a fried egg. I'm going to serve this, plop a fried egg right on top, and there you go. You have an egg, sausage, and potato breakfast casserole. All simplified by the use of Philadelphia cooking cream. I love it.